Now, there's a reason for different color wire nets. See, this one's a red one. And red, you can connect three wires and up to four wires. Five wires I've even seen in a red wire nut in a pinch. And the funny thing is, they try to trick you at the store. I'm going to tell you here. See this one? This is a red wire nut. See that it's got little tabs on the end, on the edges, so you can take your thumb and finger and use that to bend it around. Well, here's a red wire nut, too, that they sell. That doesn't have any ears, does it? You've got to attach these. You've got to have really strong fingers to tighten that up. And then usually if I use something like this, I'll take a pair of pliers and kind of grab on there and twist it a little more. But this is what I wanted to show you. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but see how big that hole is in there? Now look at this one. I don't know if you can see that or not. This hole is a little bit smaller than that hole. Yet this is a red wire nut. This is a red wire nut. So if I told you, to hook this up with the red wire nut and I'm using this one here for five wires let's say this one we've got four wires and I'm not sure I think I could fit it in that that would be really super tight though okay and that's why I'm gonna use this red wire nut because this one's bigger and I can fit it under there comfortably so you gotta look at these and make a decision if you think it's big enough you know, they have other wire nuts that are bigger than this one. You can use this type of red wire nut, like this. And then the next size up is a different color, you know. So you might have to get a variation of wire nuts for your little projects. All right, so we're going to use this big, fat red wire nut with the tabs on there. Okay, so let's hold these up there like that. I want to get these all kind of bunched up. Yes, my hand. Okay, there we go. Now you can get your wire nut on there. Twist it on there. Make sure you're grabbing all four of those wires. And twist that on. That's why I like these, these little ears. See, you can really twist that on there. I couldn't do that with the other one. Okay, that looks pretty tight. What you want to do is you want to check these wires and make sure that they're tight. Last thing you want is for this to feel tight. You think, oh, that's fine. Well, sometimes you can, you can kind of pull on this a little bit and one of these is loose because you've got it's just how the wire nut is tight on everything on maybe three and the fourth one is just slightly off. You know, so just for insurance purposes, I'm just going to take this and see if I can't twist a little bit more. Ah, maybe not. Okay. You don't want to do this too much this way. I got it a little bit. Okay. All right, that feels good. Okay, now we've got to push this in the box. You see why you got to get all the other wires out of the way? Because we got to take this and put your finger back there. Well, let me back up and get the camera resituated. Put your finger right about there. And then we're going to bend that like that and get that wire nut in there now get that push back in there as far back as we can be careful with your grubby fingers you want to try to keep them as clean as you can we'll wipe off the wall if we have to later okay there's only so far you're going to push that back there okay like that now we got the white wire. You can resituate that because if that's going to come down to the bottom. We've got the ground wire coming up here like that. Now we've got to figure out what to do with these black wires.